Despite the continuing drama that has put a stop to glitzy red carpet events, Meghan Markle paid Vogue to be featured on their list of the best-dressed celebs of the week. Regretfully, she garnered the fewest votes. The best-dressed celebrity of the week nonetheless made outstanding style statements. Several well-known A-list stars radiated class and sophistication at private screenings and events after receiving strike exemptions. Not usually an A-list star, Meghan Mull made an interesting appearance in Vogue's fashion poll, which sparked rumors that WME had paid for her to be included at Taylor Swift's concert video premiere. Taylor Swift's annual tour in a stunning blue Oscar de la Renta gown with elaborate cutaway elements, Taylor herself astounded the crowd. Still another noteworthy Beyoncé was there for the debut, dressed in a futuristic Laquan Smith ensemble with a metallic bodice that looked like armor. Beyoncé's attendance at Swift's event seemed appropriate given that her own concert-specific film, Renaissance, will shortly be released in theaters. Notable fashion moments were also on display at this week's parties. At a Los Angeles event for Scaparelli and Marcus, Jennifer Lopez looked stunning in a strapless cream column dress by Daniel Rosebery. To honor the Lowe's Foundation Studio Award, Taylor Russell, dubbed the house muse, chose an open back, plunging black gown by Jonathan Anderson. As we marveled at these gorgeous ensembles, Mizey Williams, wearing a brown tuxedo, exuded confidence at the designer's 20th anniversary party in London. Let's not forget about Meghan Mull and all of the other fashion faux pas that happened this week. Meghan's off-the-shoulder ensemble from a recent New York City jaunt was included in a poll by Vogue. It should be noted that Meghan paid to appear in this advertising section, just like the other participants. A Barjack Insider on Twitter claims that partnerships with other organizations are being considered in order to display Meghan's style selections and press releases. There's a big effort on with Hearst, Hearst Publications will publish the material, which will include Town and Country and Harper's Bazaar. But this isn't very revolutionary news for most people. What worries me is when a mental health issue is used for media attention. W certainly paid a hefty price for Meghan's photos to appear in the Friday edition. As expected, Meghan Mull garnered the fewest votes when Vogue revealed the results of the best outfit of the week. She might have paid for a space in the magazine, but she didn't win any votes in the survey. The only people who voted for her were her loyal followers, or sugars, but their numbers are far fewer than those of well-known celebrities. A number of people voiced their displeasure with Meghan's participation. Whoops, Vogue forgot to call her Duchess someone said in a hilarious way. Another reviewer chastised her, stating that it was incredibly unsuitable for the occasion, wondering why she was even listed, and characterizing her as desperate and uninspired. A third said that the fact that such an awful costume was there implies that Vogue Awards and MOA paid for it, and they thought it was completely out of place for the event.